welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. I'm Tony Green, the Psychic Medium. So everybody, so many beautiful, so much going on today, but um, let's just start with a few things. I will never reach out to you. I will never ask you if you need or want a reading on social media on each platform. I only have one account um, except for TikTok. Um, but only one psychic account, okay? Um, so please don't be fooled. I never email a reading to anybody or text a reading to anybody. If you're getting a reading from me, it's either in person or over the phone. I do not text or email readings. And mostly because I don't like writing that much, even though I've written several books. Ha ha ha. Um anyway, uh next, second thing. Okay, so I am going live today at 1:30 on TikTok to have a facial <laughs> procedure done. <laughs> what did I get myself into? <laughs> oh my goodness. So it's called the plasma pen and um well, you're just going to have to join us to to see um, that that um, TikTok channel is live dot beauty dot reviews, and it has my, my I use the same picture for everything, so everybody knows it's me. But live dot beauty dot reviews, you can watch the procedure being done live, and you can comment. <laughs> You can soothe me, <laughs> tell me don't cry. Um, you can um, you can ask questions of Angie. Angie um, is amazing, just simply amazing. Just I love her energy. She's with Alum Cosmetics. Okay, enough about that. Let's go to the next thing, which is. Mm, I don't know what my next thing is. Okay, we're just going to go to callers. So for the callers, please, 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 please have one question or connection ready and um, <clears throat> take me off of speakerphone. Let me know what's your name and where you're calling from. Boy, today I am like asleep on the job, huh? I want to say hi to um, Heather Fawn. Hey, Patrick, you're on mini vacation. What's a mini vacation, Patrick? Um, Genevieve. Um, Blog Talk booted you out twice. I'm so sorry. Okay, so hey, everybody, every once in a while, there is a problem with the call log. And I apologize for that. It stinks when that happens. Um, the number, if you do want to call in, is 845-277-9131. Yep, that's it. And I'm, I'm sorry, Genevieve. I'm, I'm sorry you were booted out. That really stinks. I wish, um, I wish that didn't happen. And Patrick, playing golf yesterday and today. Um, oh, you're just having golf days? That's awesome, Patrick. So nice. Um Okay, here we go to the first caller. The first caller is 205. 205, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, Tony. Thank you for taking my call. My name is Patricia. Hi, I'm calling from Alabama. Hey, Patricia from Alabama. How can I help uh, you today? Hi. Um, um, okay. Oh, cool. oh, well... I'll go with the what I feel is most important. Was two, I was trying to decide between the two to add. Um, I, um, Tony, there, um, I've had wind hail damage to my home back in March, and then, um, and um, it affected my roof, and it affected um, interior uh, damages to my ceilings, a couple of ceilings, and a couple of rooms. And the insurance company that I've been with, homeowners insurance company I've been with uh, for almost 10 years, pretty much just refused to do the work. So I had to hire an appraisal. 
Uh, and we're now in a negotiation phase. Um, and I would like to know when do you see the settlement and if you see an amount? Okay, so I, I'm not sure of an amount, but I see a six being the first number. I don't know if that's good or bad, and that could change depending on the negotiations. I feel like you, here's what I can tell you. Here's what I can tell you. Even though you're in negotiation, you're going to get almost everything you want and need from this settlement. You're going to be the winner. And I think that you need to, um, there's a second step you can take if you, if you choose, um, and I'm hearing the word negligence, like um, kind of, and I don't know if this is even a thing because I am channeling, but I'm hearing that you can go um, breach of, okay, breach of contract and negligence. So the, the insurance co company, I think they're in, so you can go after them for the damages that they have to pay, but you can also go after them, if I'm getting this correctly, for breach of contract and negligence. And any damages that they that were were worsened, that's I don't know if that's a word, but I'm using it, worsened because of the time it took for them to react. So look into that with your attorney because mm -hmm. there might be a second thing coming in that you would be able to do that. I don't know if it's too late to add that in. You might be able to use it as leverage against them for like, okay, well, listen, you're in breach of contract and we can come after you for negligence in a civil suit as well um, as this. So if you don't want us to do that, you better do this. Um, I do feel like, though, what I am hearing is you are going to win and you're going to get everything you want. Let me do just a little clearing on this because I don't like at all when insurance companies or people that we give our money to, um, they get shanky with us. Like that's just, it's, it's just okay. one of those things that we're by law required to pay this. So, hello, like, Phrygian, do your job, jack-o'-lantern. And all of those words were supposed to be right. swear words, just so everybody is clear about that. <laughs> just so everybody is clear about that. <laughs> all of those words were supposed to be swear words. Um, uh, the insurance company is going to pay the full amount. Let's clear that. Let's see if we can get them to pay the full amount. The, the insurance company is going to pay all the damages. And let's clear that. Oh, we'll see what happens with that. Okay, love. We'll see how that goes for you. Please do keep us posted. And I'm, I am so, so sorry, Patricia, that you had to go through this with this company. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. I love you, Tony. Many oh. bless. Thank you. Girl, yes, I, love you. I love you. I love you too. And Patricia, you. before you go, just let, let's hold on for one second because I have a gentleman uh, above my right shoulder and a woman coming in. And, and I'm doing the finger if you're watching me on YouTube, like I'm like fingering her in a woman coming in and they're both like grandparent age. Um, or parent age, depending on how old we personally are. They were a little older. And the the, the male above my shoulder is, is thinner. Now, he probably wasn't thinner throughout his whole entire life. But toward the end, he was thinner. Mm -hmm. And he is saying he was sick or sickly. Now, sick can just mean he, he just had an upset stomach or didn't feel like eating or just he lost his strength, is sickly. Now, the woman coming in, she's fuller and she's wearing a, I don't know if I want to, she's wearing like, um, um, I don't, I, I have to say this and I don't, I don't know if this is a good thing to say or not, but a muumu, like a house coat that, that like, you know, those, it's not a house coat. It's like a, like a, it zips up the front and you wear it around the house all the time. 
you know, your yes. Okay, that's, that's dad and that grandmother. Okay, yes, that's my dad. I love you, daddy, and that's my grandmother. I love you so much, grandmother. Oh, oh, okay, so pretty I'm coming in. <laughs> So I'm so excited that you know by the description because I don't always think my descriptions are on point, right? So they yes. came in at the beginning of your reading and I wanted to get your question, but if somebody shows up for somebody, I'm going to I'm going to give them shout outs all day long and um so they're here because they actually have uh, messages to you and the first message is a song that song that goes uh th they're changing the words a little bit i think because it's call on me when you need a friend oh it, maybe it's lean on me but they're saying call on me call on me so when things like this go wrong with insurance or anything in your life or anything you even want to bring in they're saying call on us uh um and then I'm hearing the song, Papa was a rolling stone. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he was. Oh, gosh, she jeepers. <laughs> and then I'm hearing um, your grandma is saying, uh, hold on, wait. Your dad wants to just say he wants you to know that you um you are the, you were, and you are the light of his life and that he, there were a lot of things he did for you, even though maybe he should have done it. He should have done it in a different way or a better way, but there were a lot of things he did for you. And you might not understand what all those things are now, but at some point um, you will. And he, and he also wants you to know that um, he's singing that song again. I, I, he's singing it in a, he's giving it through, through a song again. He says, I ain't got nothing but love for you, baby. <laughs> um, so he wants you to know he, there's nothing but love from him to you. And, um, and he, he just wants you to know that. And he's so grateful that you you were like you hung on the line and I'm going to cry cuz all of his emotions emotions are coming through me and like I'm yes. like it's that cry where you like cry I, so hard you can't even get your your breath and he's just like so grateful to you yes. for connecting and he wants you to know whatever you want whatever you need you just call on me I'm going <clears> to <throat> I'm going to make sure that you get it. And okay, so now he now that he has spoke his piece and that you know this cuz he wants you to know like you know like you know and don't ever forget. Um then your grandmother is also here and your grandmother wants to say um she wants to talk about your love life and your love life is about to take off. Okay, your love I don't know what's going on in your love life. I haven't looked at it. We were talking about something completely different. But your love life is about to take off. Now, I'm going to say the words I hear, you're going to know what that means for your situation. Um, new and almost like a new beginning. I don't know if this is with somebody you're already with or somebody new is coming in and you're going to have a new beginning. I do feel like there's going to be something coming in that's going to make you, um, like I hear the word rejuvenate, it's like rejuvenate your soul. It's going to rejuvenate your soul, your heart, your um, the core of your being. It's good. It's going to light you from your. It's going to light you from within. It's going to reignite you. Um, but remember to uh, remember that these are your feelings, not necessarily the. These are your feelings you're having for this person, not the feelings they're giving you. Let's establish that right away. Um, and pay attention to the person. The person coming in, if it's a new person, is really good and very on point if it's somebody that you're already with i don't know that it is your dad just said no are you with somebody right now love it of i'm not and i'm just so amazed that's just really oh my god 
Um, Thank you. Because your dad just said no. When I said, when I said, is she, are you with someone? Your dad said, nope. So there's somebody brand spanking new coming in. Mm, 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 mm. Yep. Yep. I love this for you. Okay. Somebody brand spanking new coming in. And this person is, this person is um, very good for you. Now, this person is going to now now again what i want to say between now and the time this person comes in i want you to work on your relationship with you and this is not only for you this is for each and every one of us our relationship with ourselves is the most important relationship we have so how do we treat ourselves how do we talk to ourselves how do we treat ourselves like for the first one being how do we treat ourselves do we take good care of ourselves do we go to the gym are we self-hurting are we you know abusing our body our mind or our soul the second one being um the second treat like how do we treat ourselves do we give ourselves those those little spa experiences do we indulge ourselves and um how do we talk to ourselves being only saying those good positive things to ourselves that we would want someone else to say to us. We it all starts within us, and then the energy that we have in us for ourselves matches by whomever comes into our life. So really write down things that you would want to say to that person that you love and say them to yourself on a daily. The the little treats you would want to somebody else to give you, start doing that for you, but also the little treat treats you would want to give to somebody else, start doing that for you because energy matches energy and we are energetic beings that are just flowing and when we meet somebody they're matching our energy whether they are what we want or not um they're matching our energy so the the more we can get into that energy of everything we want and everything we need the sooner that can come in and that oh baby that starts with our self-talk our self-talk is our programming it's our computer it's 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 everything so get your self talk on point okay get your self talk on point not only okay. you but everybody listening everybody watching everybody 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 i feel like i should have little maracas dance <laughs> dance dance okay and on that your grandma wants to say also they are orchestrating this meeting and i feel like this meeting is going to come in a month and a half approximately i feel like it's going to come is it going to come in august nope is it going to come in september yep is it going to come okay i'm seeing two dates for september the first i i'm kind of seeing the 18th but more the eight the eight so like mm -hmm. i'm not sure what that means um and then i see the 20th but more the two so whatever that means for you um yeah so let's do a clearing right now let's do a healing um i have a healthy relationship with myself i get a no this is for you everybody listening re-listening who if you want to come back to this, it's at about the 18 minute mark of the show. If you want to come back and touch this up and get this clearing again. Um, I have healthy self-talk. I get a no. Let's clear that. I have healthy self-love. I get a no. Let's clear that. Okay. Okay, Patricia. <laughs> well, there's all that for you. <laughs> I hope that was really, really helpful hey. for you. Both of your, your grandmother and oh, your father. Yes. They're saying again that they love you. And for some reason, they're showing me this. Your dad is saying this and your your grandmother is showing me this. And I, I feel like I'm supposed to know what this means, but I really don't. Raisin in the sun. What does that mean to you? Uh, raisin in the sun. Right? I'm not, I'm not sure right now. I'll have to just. Um, think about it. I'm not or look sure. It, look it up. Hey, everybody on YouTube, um, do you know what Raisin in the Sun is or what it might mean? Is it like a movie or something, possibly? Um, oh, yes. 
Oh, it, it is. is. It is. I thought they were signifying something in it, but yes, it is a movie. Nope. I know that yep. much. Yep. Okay. And your dad is like smiling and doing that slow clap. He's like, yes. Okay. For some reason that is significant, maybe you should rewatch it. I don't know if one of them loved it or both of them watched it. But for some reason that's significant, it's either a confirmation or it's just a letting, letting, letting you know sort of thing. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much, Tony. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank God for you, you, your message and your platform. You are such a beautiful earth angel. Oh, this is <laughs> I all. You so you, I you. I am so grateful for your kind words, but this is all your people and angels coming in to do this for you. But thank you so much. And you know what? You are about to have a phenomenal rest of the um, month. So go have yourself some fun. Okay, love. Okay. Thank you, love. Any blessings. You too, sweetie. You too. And keep us posted because we are all going to want to hear how all of this turns out. So thank you so much. I'm going to go. Oh, you're welcome, love. I'm going to go directly to the next caller who is 203. 203, how are you today? How can I help you? Two zero three. All righty. We're going to do that. And I'm going to go to 415. 415, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Hello. Hi. Hi, this is Kate in New Mexico. Hey, Kate. How can I help you today? I would like to hear um, from my aunt, Nan. And more, and what does she say about my my cousin, her son? Uh, the first thing I hear is nothing. She has nothing to say about it. Um, it is what it is. All right. Um, you know, on the other side, they have a very different. I guess I shouldn't worry. I guess I just don't worry about it and just let it let him do his thing. You know, everybody has their path to walk in life and whether we agree with it or it's it's harmful to them. Again, people self-harm all the time. Um, We can't force somebody to love themselves and we can't force somebody to not self-harm. Now, self-harm isn't only things like cutting. Oh, shoot. I'm about to sneeze, folks. Self-harm is not only like... Excuse me, I'm so sorry. Um, I have allergies. Everybody relax. And it's not contagious through anything yeah. or something. It's Me just too. allergies. I have serious allergies. Um, self-harming is not only things like cutting and tattooing. Self-harming is, and I don't consider tattooing necessarily self-harming, but the other side no. does. Okay, they, that came out of my mouth. Um But self-harm can also be drug addiction, alcohol addiction, um, abuse of uh, medications. It can be um, food addiction. It can be working yourself to the point of exhaustion, keeping your life completely out of balance so you don't have to deal with what's going on in your home, your mind, your your body. Self-harm is not taking the time to take care of yourself. There's a lot of ways we self-harm. <clears throat> so what she's saying is uh, there's not a lot. He he has to come around on it his own. And, you know, the one thing that that is being told to me right now is when people have certain things going on in their life, it doesn't matter how much somebody literally loves that person because they can't feel it. They uh-huh. shut down. So even though we can completely love someone and we can completely try to convince them we love them. And I've been in this situation where I've adored somebody. I just, and I I do with my my family also, I just love and adore them. And um, that doesn't make a difference in how they feel and treat themselves because it's how 
they mm -hmm. feel about themselves and their past and the things that they've done that bring them to the conclusions of how they, they treat themselves. Um, there's nothing that can be done. Um, and we don't know, like everybody picks a journey when they come here. Maybe this is part of the journey. We really don't know the, our job is to not have judgment to allow for options uh -huh. to be offered. And then when, and if the person wants, wants help judge offers whatever at that point not money i'm hearing but a true genuine help then that's where we step in anything up until then is um frustrating for everybody involved is what i'm hearing and i i really do hope this is helpful and believe me you know in the physical form there's so much we can do in the angelic form and in the afterlife form, do you not think that they are all over him trying to help him? So it's they are there watching out for him and trying to help him also. So all we can do is kind of um, wait till they reach that point, you know, let them know like, Hey, I'm here when you're ready for changes. And that's, that's basically all we can do. I, I hope that's helpful. Kate. Yeah, great. I, I just, um, so do you think it's helpful to still text? I'm like, even if I don't hear a response, is it helpful to still say, hi, I'm, how are you, you know, send a text when I don't hear back? Um, if you do, don't be disappointed if you don't hear back. Um, yeah, you know, I, I am going to say I'm the type of person that sometimes when I'm going through something, I recluse, I go into hermit mode. I just go into myself and I try to figure everything out. Um, it, not everybody handles everything in the exact same way. Um, you could just simply say when you're ready, I'm here or something like that. And if you're comfortable texting, absolutely. By all means do that. Okay, love. I love each and every one of you so much. Thank you again for being a part of my journey, my life and allowing me to share this with you.